my God, man. Look, first thing first, I think most of the world, they support Kiki Palmer. Let me roll up this window, guys, so y'all can really hear me. And I want I want to go ahead and, and excuse the light rays that's coming in. Uh, it's gonna be a little bright. But guys, man, we 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 rock with Kiki Palmer. And uh we we saw her grow up from a little child to to where she is now. And shoot, to be honest, we in the same age bracket, so we grew up together. Man, let me tell you something. I really do think that they make us love our own at a young age just to make them say some crazy reckless stuff or do something stupid in the future for what i don't know but let's talk about it this girl said she couldn't stand clara hostable she couldn't stand felicia rashad that's what she said she said she was uppity she said in cosby shows claire hostable was uppity right she got on her nerves is what she said and i'm like how dare you say that about her like there was nothing that claire hustable did that was uppity why let's let's go through the list of why would she be uppity because she dressed nice because she didn't show no skin there's not an episode that you can go watch on the cosby's to see claire hustable showing skin because she had a good job she was a lawyer so because she have a job that's a lawyer she ain't out here rapping about bees and tricks she ain't out here twerking her butt she ain't out here she ain't working at at a strip club or, 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 or a female pimp or something like she ain't doing all them extravagant jobs so now she's uppity every time you saw her her hair was done properly she ain't got tattoos all on her body. She ain't wearing no see-through overskirt that you have a one piece under her overskirt and you can see all cheeks willy-nilly in public dancing on somebody that's not your man because she ain't doing that. Is this what make her uppity? Hmm? Is this what gets on your nerves? Is it because she shined a light on the young ladies telling them this is what you should aspire to be? Or is it because the life of Claire Huxtable make you feel bad at your own life? Because you know that's what you're supposed to be, but you out here in the streets playing these silly games, playing this mess. How can you say this? See, it pissed me off because when we get a positive representation of what we supposed to be and who we supposed to strive to be or what we supposed to strive to be and, and the type of life we should live, we are the ones that tear ourselves down when it comes to that mess. See, I was poor growing up. And you can ask my brother, does my brother felt the same way? But I was poor growing up. We was poor growing up. And when we turn on that freaking television, we looked at the Cosby's and said, that's how it should be. It's a woman that's married to a man. She got her own, he got his own, but they came together as a unit. Had a nice house, lived in a nice neighborhood, had kids, kids respected them. They were fun parents and they were loving parents. They were strict parents at the same time. The kids went to college. They kids had respect for themselves. And this image was purposeful, if that's a word, was purposeful in our culture. And kids like me that grew up in a broken household, sometimes went without water, sometimes went without food. Never really had my own clothes. All my clothes was hand-me-down. When we looked at the cars, we was like, that's, that's what we want. That's what we need. But yet and still, you sitting around here talking about she was uppity, she get on your nerves. Girl, go sit your tail down somewhere. That's all I'm saying. And I'm saying this out of love and respect. But please go sit your tail down somewhere. If you're going to talk about something, talk about this new generation. Talk about these girls. Talk about these girls that, 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 that you ride along with, that you hanging out with. <laughs> I mean, talk about yourself.
Talk about yourself. I ain't saying that no disrespectful way. I'm just saying, talk about somebody other than a positive representation of what I believe our women should want to be. Mr. Nora all said it here first. Go down and comment. Let me know how you feel about it.